Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Derek Chanel's 48th World with the family affair. With the family affair. Yeah, I got my family, my YouTube family co-hosting with me, okay? Make sure y'all get down in those comments and make sure y'all let me know what y'all thought about the video. Meaning not how I presented it to you all, but the information I gave y'all within the video. And child, child, child. This man is on surveillance camera. So, thank God Candy had enough sense, her and Todd, or the management, uh, property manager in that vicinity of where her restaurant is located, okay? At first, I thought it was OLG they were talking about. But later on, <clears throat> with my little nose itself, I found out that it was steak, uh, what is it, blaze steak and seafood. Like they <coughs> and let's not forget, it was a shooting at the OLG restaurant uh the one i think was on in south uh, what do you call it in, in riverdale or jonesburg area and um three people got shot that time so now they don't move on for olg and they take it over at blaze steak and seafood i'm like what is going on what is going on three okay now we got a restaurant shooting at her upscale seafood blaze seafood and steak or steak and seafood i'm like what in the world is going on candy 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 why are people coming to your establishment and putting the the uh, whole parking lot ablaze okay now i was so glad that when i heard that it was one of your family members uh <clears throat> got in, you know, got shot or in the incident. I didn't know it was Melvin, girl. Girl, press go out to him. Press go out to him. Why they want to shoot? This man right here. So if anybody know where he at, turn him in, honey. He's a hot commodity. I don't know if they got a reward for him or not, but they should. Okay? But this man shot two people and Candace, um, was it, cousin that she treats as her son. So y'all make sure. Y'all pray. Say a little prayer for, um... Mr. Melvin up there. I know he's, you know, voluptuous and all of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and maybe that kind of saved him for being a little heavy, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, he had an extra little pounds on him to cut down that bullet from going through and piercing one of his major arteries. So thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for big blessings as well as small blessings. Because it could have turned out another whole way entirely. And you know our conspiracy theory people would have been out there talking about, wait a minute, hold up. Is it time for them to do that now? You know, have they gotten enough that they said they wanted and now they got to pay back the piper? Mm-hmm. Okay. For those who understand what I'm talking about, y'all understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, and y'all heard Queen Elizabeth died too, right? Y'all heard, because it was shocking. I was like, wait a minute, why does this keep talking about the Queen? Because I was just really glancing and, and going through my, uh, my mails and my, um, my comments real quick, you know, try, just trying to check messages, you know what I'm saying. And then later this afternoon, I just look, opened one of the sites up, and she had died, y'all. She had died at 96, bless her heart now. We got the drunk Mr. King Charles up there. Lord, have mercy. I don't know what type of ruling he gonna do. But I'm sure William, William, his grandson, will be willing and able to step on into them shoes. He probably don't want to do it, but he just got to do it because he's next in line, you know. Because, Lord, we had Harry up there. <laughs> Shit, we'll be getting in every kind of war, uh, you know, there is to be made out there, you know, because he's he one of them guys. He'd be like, they did what? They did who? Okay, we're going to go get them jokers. T t tell them to um, start up the engines on the planes. Tell the ground troops to get ready. And tell the snipers 
and the uh what do you call those people the marines oh i forgot what they do but they do i think they were seals navy seals yeah child they be doing some sniper type work you'll never know until they got up on you and they'll be ready to snap your neck or something like that but yeah but condolences go out to the whole uk over there um uh, and and the family and and um uh, I think it was time. It was time. It was time for her. She had suffered a little bit. Because somebody had said, I think it was Jason Lee uh, on Unlock, <laughs> Hollywood Unlock. I think he had said she died two months ago, right? But, okay. All right. He, but he, it's, it's uh, what do you call it? It's official now. It's official because they put it out there globally. So everybody know. Everybody know. Everybody know that the queen has surrendered and she's off into another realm of existence. Okay. But anyway, let's get back to this story. Yeah, how do we got to get back to this? I'm like, damn, Candy, they shooting you up over at um, OLG. And that was in February, I think. February, March, something like that, in 2020. Now you got folks coming in 2022 trying to tear up stuff. They couldn't let you go through the end of the year for them to uh, cut up, right? Well, did you vet your people real well? Did you do your research, Candy? Did you do your research when it came to employing people, you know? <sighs> Girl, because anybody got to Melvin that that quick? With Melvin out there in the public, in the surrounding areas, well, the employees, uh, not employees, but the um, guests eat? Or did he come back there in the kitchen? Because Melvin be in the kitchen. Okay, unless he want to come and talk to somebody, you know, about their meal or whatnot, doing his little housekeeping, his hospitality. Okay, but what where did they come, girl? Why is they coming out the uh, Melville, he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Let us know, girl. We get this article from Revolt. Yes, Revolt. And, um, they give us the title of Candy Burris Nephew Shot by a co-worker at her restaurant. This article was, uh, written up by Megan Embers. Okay, it says Candy Burris Nephew Chef Melvin Jones was shot by a co-worker at Boris's restaurant, Blaze Steak and Seafood, on Wednesday. Uh, that was yesterday, y'all. Mm, okay. Why we just hearing about it today? They were keeping a little hush hush, wasn't it? Okay. They might, they might, they see, they couldn't find a man. Cause when they trying to really look for somebody, they try to keep it on a hush hush. But when they felt like the man's just hiding too good, then they try to open it up a little, uh, wider. So, you know, people can call in and say they saw this person just that there. So they had to pull the plug on that hush hush hush, keep it quiet type of stuff. They had to let the world know now, or at least the world as in Atlanta. So they can pretty much catch him because he's been hiding real well. So somebody must be helping him out. But it, in, anyway, according to 11 Alive in Atlanta, <laughs> South Fulton Police Lieutenant Rogers stated that SPF received a uh, phone call at 7.30 p.m. about an employee firing a weapon at the restaurant on Cascade Road in Atlanta. The suspect was involved in a fight with another staff member. That must have been Melvin, okay? And fired and fired their gun, striking Jones in the arm. Mm-mm, mm mm He was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, Jones shared on his Instagram story his injuries from being shot while giving thanks to his grandmother. Still here because Granny be praying for me, he said. Jones is the kitchen manager at the Blaze Restaurant and Burris's first restaurant, Old Lady Game. In honor of her mother and two aunts, Joyce Jones, Bertha Jones, and Nora Wilcock. Okay, it's not the first time gun violence has struck Burr's residence. I just tried to tell you. I mean, restaurants two years ago on Valentine's Day, a man opened fire in the OLG uh, restaurant shooting another man. In addition, two innocent standbyers were also caught in the crossfire due to the shooting. There were no fatalities among the three. Okay, but restaurants have been featured several times on Bravo reality show. In May of 2021, Burris reopened Blaze Steak and Seafood after failing a, a, a restaurant health inspection. According to the AJC, that's the Atlanta Journal Constitution, a little newspaper ad we have down here still in effect. The establish, establishment scored 55, which is considered a failure. Blaze were reported later that week. Okay, and I'm like, you see how they try to tell you down even further? Well, you already got dirt on. You already got salt on your name. These <laughs> these reporters tell you just a little bit downer, okay, than what you were, a little bit lower, okay? 
<sighs> I tell you, the social media, it, it, it's, it's for you sometimes, and then it's against you. All right? But we still have to live. We have to live our lives and, and take the good with the bad. Okay? But uh, SFP provided no details about what led to the shooting, the identity of the suspect, or where the gunfire occurred in the restaurant. Neither Burris nor her husband, Todd Tucker, have commented on the incident. You can see Melvin's Instagram story below. Okay? And it has pictures, uh, I guess, where he got shot. I, hell, I don't know. Just go to uh, the neighborhood talk. They got it. They got it over there, y'all. Go on and get y'all interest on, money. Go on and get your interest on. But I'm telling you, I don't know why they keep targeting candy in her restaurants. Is it a coincidence? No, it's not. But they're not willing to tell us what's really going on. You know, for us nosy folks that just really want the tea. You know what I'm saying? But Candy, Todd, I know you didn't want to buy a generator. I know you didn't want to buy a generator. And that's piss poor management uh, uh, skills being shown there. But you might want to, just for the hell of it, and for the peace of mind for yourself as well as your employees, why don't you get a... Uh, a police officer to guard the place up there. Yes, it's going to cost you a little bit money, a little bit more money, but it's better to, better to be safe than sorry. Because, see, this incident happened with two of your employees, okay, two. One that you love dearly because you treat him just like he was your son, okay? You pretty much raised him uh, from a little, little, little tight. And then uh, you want your customers to feel safe. Because this is putting a bad light on you can't control the people that you got coming into your establishment working for you. You see you see where I'm going with this candy? So to resolve all that, you need a, uh, a security guard that actually is a police officer. He's just doing extra work besides what he really have to do on a daily basis. They're not that cheap, but it's good. It's good to let... Others know, such as myself, if I wanted to come and pay to your restaurant, I'd be looking over my shoulder. I'd be looking over my uh, my neck. I don't know what I'd be doing. I just would be uneasy, okay? Because I don't know if the day is the day somebody else going to come in and act a fool. But these were two employees going at each other. Now, I don't know who was the aggressor and who was the one standing by. But it just don't make any sense, Candy. Get it together over there, girl. Get it together and, and pay the money. It's better to pay the money and, ha and have a what-if situation going on and you have somebody there who's licensed to carry and they can quick, fast, in a hurry, catch their behinds and throw them in the squad car and take them on down to the jailhouse, okay? Fingerprint them and everything else and don't let them out no more, okay? But that's all I got for this story, uh, y'all. I ain't got no more. But we're going to keep uh, all parties involved all parties in prayer because sometimes you have to pray for the the, uh, the aggressor because you don't know what made them go and do these things or what they felt like they had to do to injure this person you see what i'm saying so it's, everybody need prayer everybody need prayer the shooter the people that got shot and for the people that were just bystanders because i'm sure it could have been much worse you hear what i'm saying it's already worse but it could have been worse you know what i'm saying somebody could have died several people could have died just because, you know, cause we got to look at mental illness. Mental illness is a thing, okay? Whether you want to believe it or not, you think you're going to pray it away, you think you're going to do this, you're going to, uh, you know, use all your serotonin in your body and, and nothing's working. Because I believe in prayer as well as medication when it's needed. You see what I'm saying? So, I, I don't know. I'm not going to try to blame anybody in the stereo because I don't have all the evidence. You know what I'm saying? It's the shooter side. It's the um, victim side. And then the truth is lying there in the middle. Now, did a gun need to be in the situation? That's what I'm saying. We are punks nowadays. We always want to pick up a weapon and discharge it on somebody. Not knowing if your ass going to be in jail for making that discharge. Because, yes, they try to see if it was something you could have avoided getting the gun in your hand and shooting that person was all other aspects of the situation could have been avoided. You know what I'm saying? They be making the people that feel for their life, making them, um, give them a accountants of what really happened. You know what I'm saying? It's a hot mess. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.